Hey, welcome, welcome. This is Marcus Bowles, President and CEO of Customized Minds. Thank you for coming back, getting some more of this great information that you know is going to inspire and empower your life. You know we got another great topic and I'm excited to share it with you on today. We are going to be talking about some amazing business and life advice. And so I ask you the question, do you really only talk about what you know? So what do I mean by that? Well, it's gonna sound so simple that it might go over your head, so I'll repeat it a couple times as I share this information. It is some of the best business and life advice that I can share with you and that was shared with me and it is a common practice that I follow still to this day and I will the rest of my life and I'll continue to share it with my children and, and grandchildren and future generations to come and I'm very thankful to be able to do it through this mode of, of communication right here, which is only talk about what you know. So let me say it again. The question I asked was, do you only talk about what you know and some of the best business and life advice that was given to me that I'm now giving to you is only talk about what you know. Hey. There is nothing wrong with this phrase. I don't know. Give me some time and see if I can find the answer. Again, there is nothing wrong with saying, you know what, I don't know. If you allow me some time, I will see if I can find the answer, find the person, find the information that you are looking for. See, too many people in our, in our life, in our world, in our society today, whether it be business or just life itself and in general, talk about stuff they have zero knowledge about. Zero knowledge. Zero knowledge or experience. All right? So some of the best business and life advice that I can pass along to you is to talk about what you know. When you do that, guess what? You are authentic. See, we need more authentic people in the world than what we have today. See, that whole notion of fake it till you make it or ah, kind of bend the lines and, and bend the troop a little bit, there's too much of that going on and we need more people with the understanding and really the okay of saying that, I don't know. Let me get the answer. Think about it. You will not know everything. You will not know a lot about a lot of things. You may, you honestly should be saying to yourself in conversations, you don't know more than you, you know, giving your opinion, your advice and things like that on things that you have zero experience about or zero knowledge on because you are really kind of in this box, in this lane. Now, as you go on in life, your box, your lane gets wider and you pick up more knowledge, more wisdom, more information, more experience, right? You should be, I hope you are. But when you reach the edge of your lane, your box, where you are, you should not be trying to give advice, have conversations, or direct people on things that you do not know anything about. Again, being authentic, kind of staying in your lane, staying in your box, leaving areas where you're not familiar with to other people, leveraging them, because there's a difference between knowing everything and leveraging the knowledge and the wisdom of other people, leveraging the experiences of other people. By doing that, you then equip yourself to be able to have conversations about whatever it is that you're talking about. So again, that is some of the best business as well as life experience that I can share with you. Some of the best advice that I can share with you is that it's okay to say, I don't know. Go and research the information, find someone, find a subject matter expert, find someone who has had that experience, pick their brain, get that knowledge and information, then come back to the table and have the conversation and even say and reference where you got the information from. Hey, you know, so I had a conversation with 
uh, a retired CEO of a Fortune 100 company for about 30 years. And after having the conversation with him, this is what he shared with me on this particular subject about X, Y, and Z. That right there is much more powerful and meaningful because it shows you took out the time to go and do some homework, go and do some research, come back to the table because if another question is asked of you, you don't want to get in yourself, get yourself into lying or looking crazy, looking like a fool when all you simply had to do was admit and say, you know what? I don't know. Let me get the answer. Very simple. I told you I was going to repeat it throughout this message so you can get it, so it can soak in, and so you can now be the authentic you that you were born to be. As I always say, you have exactly what you say now. If you believe it now, it is yours to have right now today. No one can take that away from you. The power of life and death is in the tongue. More importantly, in the mind, but first, one must believe in the heart. Take care. Bring back a friend. Of course, share this information. I look forward to seeing you right back here. Same spot on the next one.